Those will be your teammates, okay? Tonight, when we were playing, you probably didn't like each other. I understand that, okay? And that's part of competition. That's part of competition, okay? But those are who are going to come together and play on this field for the next four years for you eighth graders, okay? All right? So now the competition's done. You've got the bragging rights for a year, okay? All right? Yeah. Okay. So squash all that other craziness, talking, mouthing, that's just part of competition, all right? Eighth graders, from here on, they're your teammates, okay? So we're going to support each other, yes, sir. all right? I appreciate you. I love you. You did a good job, okay? Ray Middle Eagles are 3-0. and I couldn't ask for anything else, all right? Yeah. Has anybody got any problems? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, Coach, it looks like it was your night tonight. Well, you know, uh, any time you've got a rivalry game like this, you don't really know what to expect. Last last year, we, we went up there thinking that uh, we had a chance to uh, uh, push them around a little bit. And of course, again, in a rivalry game, you, you know that you're going to get your best from them, and, and you hope that your kids show up and understand what the rivalry is. And I tried to tell those kids, you know, these guys, I understand we compete with them inside the lines right now. But when we get off this field, that's their teammates for the next four years. And, uh, you know, they're doing the same thing we're doing. It was just kind of a cat and mouse trying to figure out who could do what. Matter of fact, I thought the first half they whipped us pretty well. And I, I thought we came out slow, and I thought that our kids needed to pick it up a little bit. Heck of a plan on their part. And uh, they, they had a scheme pretty well. It, it took us a little bit of time to get it figured out. At halftime, we, we made some adjustments and, and, and closed it out. Well, Coach, speak, speaking of that Spring City team, what can you say about that team and, and how they battled? Here, here's what I'm going to tell you about Spring City. If, if you'll look at their roster, they are, they're a young team. They're a young team. A lot of sixth and seventh graders, not a whole lot of eighth graders on that team. So this is kind of a kind of a gut check for them. And you, you could see tonight that even though they understand that and they're they're trying to do that, you can see so much progress in what they've done from the start of the season when we scrimmaged them till now. And that that's good coaching, that's kids being coachable, and, and they've made a lot of progress, and I hope we have too, so that so that we uh, were able to uh, uh, you know, in, in the second half, wear them down and, and, and get the win. Well, right now you're 3-0. and You have a big win against Maryville, win over Spring City. How are you planning to build on that for, for the rest of the season? Well, you know, one of the things when you look at our schedule, um, we've added Kingston and we've added Baylor and we've added uh, Maryville and uh, we've added Saudi Daisy. So we've, we've upped our schedule a little bit this year. I wanted to see how these kids will compete when we get into a game to where, you know, you, you're talking about a Maryville coming in here. How long's it been since they were shut out? How long's it been since Maryville was beat? You know, all that type stuff. I try not to make the kids scared of that, but I want them to understand that. These are good opponents. They're dog fights. Who's got the grit? Who's gonna get in there and play with us? And so, you know, I think we've grown up a lot the last couple weeks. I think our kids are getting the system, which is what Coach Pemberton's tried to put in place so that as they go to the high school, hopefully we've taught them a little bit of something and uh, they can take that with them and it's it's a smooth transition into the high school. But, you know, 3-0, and I couldn't be any more proud. Our kids have fought. We've had some goal line stands. We hadn't had a point scored on us. But at the end of the day, the points don't matter as much as the wins, and these kids are battling and fighting and learning some good lessons in all this. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Enjoy it, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Elmer. You guys do a great job.